This is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case. Oh my hand. Alright. We got you right here, G. Alright, so as you know, direct energy reader, don't believe in reading zodiac signs of birthdays. I said you'll be open with the spirit and have fun. We're gonna be doing you a message from my ancestor. I know you know how it works, but I'm gonna say I lay down five cards. Each card represents one of your ancestors. Then I lay down a clarifying card on top of that one that represents that message to you. Then before I go to the next one, I give you a chance to ask that ancestor a question about what they talking about. Uh, now, to get the best results from this right here, we ain't gonna try to figure out who the ancestor is. They could be one day past, a hundred years past. You probably won't know them. They're ancestor because you don't know them now. So don't waste your time or your question trying to figure out is it Leroy Boa, Skillet of Sarah, Hallie, and May. And, uh, and no Arisha questions in this one. And that should be it. All right, G, I'm taking the liberty of shuffling your car. Say your first name, what you want me to call you so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your car? Yes, sir. All right. Spirit said you moved. You relocated since we last talked. Like, relocated. Now, I don't know if you got a job. I don't know if you moved distant, but they saying how you liking to travel. They I don't, I don't, Let me stop saying move. They saying how you like to travel. Do you travel? You understand? Okay. You understand? So you understand what they talking about? Cause they they saying you, you need they need to know how you like the travel. Now I don't know. Did you go see somebody? Did you actually relocate? They saying how you like the travel. They saying cause they don't see re your energy ain't resonating properly with it. They say. Uh, I I get what they saying, but it's just not what I how I saw it. I saw. I'm confused. Um, so me, it's a, it's a different job. Oh, you tra you traveled for your job? No, I changed job to your job. Okay, so that's what they saying. Okay, the, the okay to move. Then we'll say instead of travel, so uh, it's still move. They said they they said that your your energy is not resonating with the move since they last talked to you. Okay, got it. You ain't giving a shit about the job too well. It ain't panning out how the way you got it. That's it. They they would make it small talk, believe it or not. All right, let's rock. All right, so we're gonna start with your first ancestor. Spirit, what you telling me about the first ancestor? First ancestor, what you got going on? Mm. Brain, foggy brain, foggy brain, drug addicted. All right, this ancestor here, he was a crackhead, drug addict, heroin uh, shooter, one of them two there, you know what I'm saying? But right now, he's saying like, there's somebody around you. Oh no, fuck that, he say you. He said, ain't nobody around you, him. He said, you need to not self-destruct. He said, because you either trying to do too much drug, you trying to do some kind of medication, or you trying to do some kind of, uh, like, exposing yourself to the world, that type of stuff that, like, you're, 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 you're what? getting away from reality, a, a cloudy head under water pressure, and you trying to do stuff, maybe that could be, like, going out to the club a lot. Maybe that could be uh, investing in your partner too much, Maybe that could be drinking or eating too much food. He's saying you look in the mirror, you on a self-destructive path because he did a self-destructive path. His message to you is choose peace, calm down, look in the mirror, recognize that you're messing up. So what is he talking about? I don't do drugs. Uh... It's, everybody got their vices. It ain't got to be a drug or a drink. It could be investing too much in your partner. It could be shopping too much. It could be sitting around watching too much TV. Like probably shopping too much and too much to the partner or working. Well, e either way, they saying this, your head, you're so under pressure, your head is so clouded that you need to take a step back, look in the mirror and realize, hey, you can do better and that you're okay. He's saying this right here is you self-destructing. So what are you doing? So what are you running from? Let me ask that question for this ancestor because uh, I got to get your energy back up. I got to get you back in the game. Uh, running from biggest thing surrounding me right now is this girl. So it's a tick. So the chick, you running from the chick? Or you try, or you, uh, you, uh, you too inundated, absorbed in the broad. I think I'm, yeah, I think it's, I focus too much on what she's doing. Okay, they saying this right here is you, you're self destructing. So if you check your emails, checking where she at, that type of stuff, spirits say you're self destructing. 
Be careful. Would you like to ask us that question? Um, what can I do to like move away from this? Uh, to, that, and be careful with this question now, I'm going before, cause you, this, this, some, this a partner that you like it. What can you do to move away from her? This ancestor gonna tell you what you gotta do to move away from her. So how can you get your your anxiety under control? This is something I will ask him. Yeah, how can I get my anxiety under control? Okay, cause you finna push this later. Uh, this, this, this person right on out the goddamn door. All right, ancestor, how can he control his thoughts, minds, and action toward this person? Fertility. What do you mean, kids? Uh, detach from drama and find the blessing in your current situation. So this person got kids. You ain't got no kids. She ain't got no kids. You ain't got no kids. Right. So why are they talking about fertility? The way you get. So are you trying to make babies with this girl? I want kids. She doesn't. But uh, I think they allude to the fact that she had an abortion before me. I don't. No, no, no. This ain't her energy. This you. So, so listen, Spirit said to get this girl off your mind, they gave me the fertility card. Then they said, detach from drama. And then they said, find the blessing in your current situation. If you don't have a baby by her, do not put a baby with her. Get that idea off your head. Get the idea of locking her down. That's what's, you can't lock her down. That's the problem. Oh. I, I, you, your energy low, they said, so I got to fight you on it to pull you up. But they gave the fertility card, so you want a baby from this girl, you want to lock her down, you want to be more than this, but she probably holding you at a long handle spoon, I get it, or y'all glowing this or whatever. Spirit say, get the baby energy off your mind, find a blessing in your current situation, you can move a little bit better uh, when you need to move without this baby. Okay, alright, let's go ahead to your second ancestor. Your second ancestor came in the form of, I want to say Popeye the Sailor Man, but this is uh, like a, a, a guy that's working at the dock. He was pretty strong too. He was pretty strong to put you in the mind of Popeye the Sailor Man when he eat the spinach and the muscles and the arms get big and the anchors on his <laughs> damn forearm. So this is very strong dude. Uh, he came in the form of a leg bar and this Popeye the Sailor Man is said about uh, he keeps saying there's a trip you're supposed to take overseas and I think you're supposed to go to China because he keep giving me an Asian influence. Hawaii, Japan, China, Korea, Vietnam. You know what I'm saying? But it's some kind of Asian influence. He was saying release tension. He's saying you really should take this trip over there. So why is he talking about Asia? I'm working with a bunch of Vietnamese people, but I haven't thought about taking a trip. Okay. Listen to what he said. He said, oh, so if you're not taking a trip with the Asians, y'all, you aggravated with them? With the Vietnamese? Yeah. Okay. He said release tension. I thought you, hell, it's so bad. I thought you had anxiety about going over there. He said, the Asian, he said, hey, tell him to calm down. He gave you yoga, release tension. Stop being so hard on yourself with these people, hard to these people. I don't know what they doing to you out there with the uh, Vietnamese people. But uh, he said, he said, just calm down, just release tension. Go ahead and work with him, go, go to him. Now, I shouldn't have known anything about an Asian around you, correct? Yeah. So listen to the ancestor, man. Would you like to ask his ancestor a question, huh? Uh, yeah, I ask, um, should I, should I, is there a way, would it be better if I kept the Asian man and moved the girlfriend away from the job? Okay, uh, so, should you, okay, I, uh, so, the qu your, your question is, should you, should you, should, should you deal with, uh, the the Asian fella that you work with, and then the a uh, uh, the female that you're probably working with, should you like send her back packing? Yeah, gotcha. Totally understand what you're saying. Spirit, what's going on with this situation? Tell her. Spirit said, okay, meditation and prayer. Yes, I got gotcha. you. Take charge of the situation. You'll do you'll do well to be friends with the Asian. That's that's a better bet for you than than dealing with this sister uh, on a what whatever level you decide. Friendship, work relation, business partner. They said the Asian is the best fit in all three of them categories. Okay. That's not a bad deal though. Cause the, your ancestors already said let the let uh, let the tension go with the Asian fella that you're working around. So yep, there you go, man. Good deal. So I'm gonna repeat this now, cause you kind of hard headed. You gonna go to the to the your own tune. The girl release tension. She bad. She ain't bad news, but she's stressing you out. The first person, your partner, whatever the whatever uh, relationship you decide to have with the Asian cat, it's a good one. It will work out. Business partner, work partner, coworker, roommate. You follow me? It's a good thing. I don't, I don't, just to be clear, I just want to be clear. 
Uh huh. Are they talking about my boss or my coworker as far as the Asian man go? Okay, that's a, now you now you're opening up. Thank you, Spirit. So now, are you talking about the coworker or the boss as far as which one of the Asian fellas or the Asian people you would be okay with that will suit your interest better? That's right. Gotcha. So give me a letter. Say hey, will and use the word interest. I want you to be very careful, and I'm gonna broaden it up. Will the boss, G, suit my interest better? Let me throw a card on that. Will my coworker, P, suit my interest better? Let me throw a card on that. Okay. All right, so, go go for it. Will my boss? You gotta ask the question. Okay. Will my boss, S, or my coworker, D? No, one at a time. One at a time. Two, you're gonna do two questions. Ask the boss first. Will my boss, S, suit my interest better? Spirit, will S, his boss, suit him better? Spirit said, nurture yourself. I like that. Nurture yourself and artistic expression. Spirit said, open your, I mean, uh, retreat to nature. So basically, retreat to nature means fresh start. So yeah, they said you'll be able to express yourself better. There'll be a new beginning with the, with the boss energy as far as promotion, working together, new ideas, new concept. Now, what about the other one? All right, uh, will my coworker D my Spirit, will D suit his interest? Spirit said, clear and shield your energy. Get rid of D ass and focus on <laughs> S being in your life. Okay. Business partner, no matter what energy it takes, S. And then your ancestors said, stop being so hard on the Vietnamese cat. And this woman, good Lord, man, get out of here. Not good. Yeah. God damn it. All right. Now we finna go. Oh, uh, so which one of them is a Leo? I'm just going to. This ancestor said sparks are flying. So somebody a Leo, man, and somebody finna have some fun. So who the Leo around you? They said, so let me just tell you. This, this ancestor is <laughs> this ancestor is a female by the name of Valerie. She either said Valerie or she's a Valor. She's just using like a, a Valor person, a Valor, a high educated person. Or her name Valerie. Um, yeah, she's in the she's in the Navy. She's a seaman. You got a lot of Navy, water, Marine, Navy, faring people around you. Boaters, probably a water sign somewhere. But either way, uh, right now, uh, this one right here, they can't. Uh, this ancestor came in the form of the Eight of Fire in the upright position. This, this ancestor saying it's time to have some fun, and you're gonna have some fun with the fire sign, Leo Sagittarius. So, so are you dealing with one of them at the moment? No, not that I can think of. Do you know their birthday? Are any of your partners, your, your, your friends? The one you told me to get rid of is a Pisces. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got in trouble talking. I made it. I make jokes about Pisces, and I get in trouble. So I ain't making no more jokes about Pisces no more. They are great people. I never slept with one in my life, but they are great people. But either way, so the one that spirit told you to leave is a Pisces. Your spirit. You, the, the, your, the spirit that told you to lead a Pisces, not me. But with that being said, who is the fire sign? You don't know their birthday? Nah, I would have to find out. Is it somebody I work with? Uh, let me see. Well, I can't ask that question yet because I uh, this one say they ain't done talking. So they came in the eight of fire up upright. They say you're about to have some fun with the fire sign. That could be Leo, Aries, the Sagittarius. You're about to have some fun. He message you is twin flame. Now, out of all the people you're messing with, you're gonna have some fun with the person you start dating. So if you choose to date the fire sign, you're gonna have some fun. Now, what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all a nice water. Mm, nice water fire mix. So yeah, you could probably run into a, uh, a Sagittarius or some shit. Neither one of y'all got no scent when it come down to that type of fucking. So yeah. So whatever fire sign you got on your team. It's gonna be worth it. Now, you can ask that question. Can I get something to know who it would be? Like a sign or something? Okay, other than the birthdays, and that's what you don't know out of your partners. You don't know what their birthdays is. Yeah, like a physical characteristic. Uh, spirit, pinpoint a characteristic. Pinpoint a characteristic. Spirit said communication. This person either write books, read books, work in a library, or they surrounded by anything with information. Technological, computer uh, engineer, well, you know, writing code, human resource, that type of stuff. They got so much information they go through every day. Log journals. My boss? Oh, uh, my supervisor? I guess so. <laughs> I'm seeing nothing but books, library. He's always documenting things, clipboard, 
computer typing down stacks of paper. I thought he was uh, writing a book at first, but then I said, no, I don't think nobody working in libraries no more. So yeah, the boss. Wait, no, just, okay, I ain't gonna waste all my questions. Yeah, you, confu you confusing me now. Nah, now nah, they giving you the direct thing. You confusing me. Okay. Nah, so if it's the boss that's taking a liking to you, S, and S is surrounded by paperwork, law sheets, and data. And if you go to work and you find out S is a goddamn fire side. What did this ancestor just tell you? Because they gave you the twin flame card saying it's gonna be fun time. So what are they saying? Telling me to go to Florence to have fun. That's it, with S. There we go. You, you fighting spirit on what they telling you and they being real dick, they being real, real to the point now. These your ancestors. <sighs> All right, let's go over here to your fourth ancestor. Your fourth ancestor came, then the, oh, this is not bad. Oh, so I'm going to ask a question, and I do apologize in advance, but I know what the card telling me, and, uh, <laughs> shit. Oh, don't curse me out. Uh, okay. They saying that, they saying that you trying to hide. <laughs> they saying you have, they saying you trying to uh, hide, hide your addiction, hide your, your lifestyle. I should say, uh, cause you got this SS came in the form of the devil card in the upside down position. If this card was upright, they would be saying, okay, you're doing it too much or you, yeah, I know. But they saying this is you trying to suppress or conceal a certain type of lifestyle. This ancestor said they did it themselves too, but it's only when they saw these nice shoes that they can tell everybody knew, uh, his lifestyle by the time, by the type of shoes he always used to put on his feet. Now, his message to you, and again, don't curse me out. If my spirit wrong, I do apologize. I'm just saying what they saying. His message to you is enjoy yourself. Come on out the closet. It's time for you to, you know, celebrate who y'all or what you want to do. Okay. Would you like to ask his ancestor a question? So it's not necessarily that I hide anything. It's just, I don't see shit to do. <laughs> How would I actually like go about exploring just being free, I guess. Gotcha. Ancestor, you told me now, you told the man business and shit. Now he got a question for you. The, lo the location where he at, the job, the move, the people surrounding him, the location, how can he just go about finding some of his interests to explore? Spirit said purification. Spirit said trust. And Spirit said stay focused. Now this is the darndest thing I've seen. Spirit said purification, trust. They saying you have to be authentic. They saying you'll be surprised how many people want to explore the same. Mm, they saying I know there's a fetish. There's a fetish. There we go. It, there we go. Purification, trust, and stay focused. It's a purificate. It'll purify your soul. Okay. So, so, uh, and we had this conversation before. Spirit said, "Okay, got you." So this reading has been done already, believe it or not. And Spirit told me to show you how uh, this would be the best analogy for you. Spirit said. Just like you was to create one of those uh, AI portraits. So Spirit said, go to your computer, create a scenario in AI portrait, and Spirit say, whatever that AI portrait pull up, that will be like the fantasy. So they're saying, whatever you can think about, try it. Okay. You got me though. Yeah. Damn, that was hard. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go over here to your fifth ancestor. So your fifth ancestor came in the form of the three of water, in the upright position. Uh, shit, bro. Damn. Uh, <laughs> this ancestor said, shit, the three of water upright. They said, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. hell, if you put it out there, everybody gonna work with it. So, uh -huh. the, the chick, the dude, if you wanna go that way and explore, they saying people will be down for this. It could be like a good old threesome, throuples, I don't know what they call this stuff nowadays. Thing is, I already saw like that happening. Like, everybody, Everybody at work has been like trying to flirt with me, but I'm just like, ha ha ha, walking <laughs> off. You. Men and women included, everybody in between. So I'm gonna say, go ahead, you sexy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the card said, this ancestor said, everybody game for it. His message to you is focus on your strength. He said, if everybody trying to get at you, why you ain't using this shit to climb the ladder? Why you ain't using this shit to your advantage? Mm. That's his problem with you. Really? He said, this your problem. So if the boss liking you, and, and the boss trying to keep things secret, and he flirting with you on the low, okay, climb the ladder. Get in the good graces with the boss. If another person digging you, supervise on the job, if the chick digging and she got some of the, 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 the advantage, your ancestors are saying that all the problem is focus on your strength. If they like you, you look that good, you'll flirt like that, 
They say, man, use your shit to your uh, ability, to the best of your ability. They say focus on your strength. Mm. Oh, you nice. It's not, it's not even that. It's just like quality of people. Okay, like, that, say less. Say less. <laughs> you don't want to be jumping in a goddamn donut factory when you got bagels around the corner. I get you. <laughs> you jumping into the quick fix when you got a healthier option around the corner. Gotcha, man. I gotcha. Well, either way, if they flirt with you, you need to use it to your advantage. Would you like to ask this ancestor a question? Okay, and turn it to this job. Like, what would be the best way to go ahead and just throw it out? Okay, with the people on the job or the job? Uh, I guess with the people on the job, since they're the way I'm gonna climb up. So, now nah, I wanna ask you before I ask the question, so. Cause this one answer to say they knew they knew they 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 found him out when when he started coming to work dressed coming uh around with with different kind of fancy shoes on so <laughs> yeah so the fancy you're dressing yeah. I ain't trying to say go up into your goddamn industrial workplace and drag or nothing we ain't going <laughs> let's take no, it no. slow so what he's saying is I've been wearing like my new shoes and some shorts that actually show off my figure a little bit so they can see like. It's, I'm, I'm actually working out in the gym. They can see. Okay. Let's keep that thing coming on my uh my assets. <laughs> when you rewatch this video, you're stressing me out because I'm holding my eye. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. I'm, ho I'm holding my eye, I'm stressed. This is a high stress reading. Listen, <laughs> Spirit, so the question is, so you've been showing it off a little bit, they figured it out and you're wearing the shoes that show you your calves and your workout and your clothes and stuff. So the question is, <laughs> how would you uh, put it out there that you're available or that you're ready to mingle? Or yeah. Spirit, what can he do in the workplace to show the people that uh, He's ready to date and entertain. They said health and healing. They said you can do it. And they said freedom. They said now, they, I don't know what's going on with this right here, but they saying first thing you need to do is let everybody know that, hey, the problem I was going through is over. So if you could say, hey, my girlfriend's stressing me out. So you let everybody know I done broke up with my girlfriend. I done broke up with my partner. You follow me? Um, you got to tell people, hey, I'm done with that stressful situation because they said health and healing, you can do it in freedom. You got to let them know you're done with the previous situation or you got to let them know you're single. All right. So just to clarify, like basically there's a girl at work. She basically mingling in between one other guy. Mm -hmm. Guy is bisexual. Okay. Which I figured out from him staring at me. So basically, everybody's like, they feel like we are like locked together and we're not even in, not even in serious. Right. So now is this the same girl that you want to have a baby with? I, I think so. You would know if you want to impregnate a woman, man. This is the baby. Nah, that's my long. That's the long distance girl. Okay, get rid of the long distance girl all together. She ain't for you. Nah, the girl. Let's focus on the girl. Let the girl and the guy at the job. So the girl and the guy at the job. They like she dealing with the guy. He bisexual. He wants to take you down too, cause he's looking at your assets, right? Right. Now, Spirit said, both of them will go for it. So now, the word I use, the thruple, I think that's the proper word to say it. They say you could get involved with that and both of them will go for it. So this could be your sexual escapade. And he said, health and healing, you can do it. Freedom, you have to show that that long distance personality that you were dealing with ain't stressing you no more. And you gotta let it know you single and ready to mingle by saying, by throwing it out there, I'm available, I wanna have fun, let's do this type of energy. You flirt, so basically flirt back. If everybody flirt with you, cause you're showing off your assets, flirt back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> how you feel about your reading? <laughs> you know I'm smiling, right? Cause I don't know how to, I don't know what the fuck to say, man. I, <laughs> just, I see everything and in the beginning I was trying to, Trying to, you know, teeter around it, man. But thank God you were free enough to, to, to distress me. <laughs> Woo. Uh, but hey, they man's gonna tell me, hey, just have uh, fun time. Yeah, they saying right now, you 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 got it going on. You you They saying lighting up with the people on the job and the selection of people is not where you're at, but ain't no need of you sitting in the house being a, 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 a what you call them, a recluse and stuff and 
antisocial, just doing a little little debutante wave and, and bow shit. They said, have fun. Okay. You you young, you're human. Enjoy. Now you gotta deal with the Asian. So now the little Vietnamese. <laughs> I, I already got them to move him to a different location, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> So it's the man and I'm now I'm being nosed, I'm being messy, man. It's the man and the woman that's in the couple relationship with the bisexual brother. Is they Koreans? I mean Vietnamese? Oh no, they black. They're black. So how the fuck the Vietnamese man get thrown in the picture? Because my boss is Vietnamese, but the guy that I can get got moved, he's Vietnamese. So all of them just after you? Yeah, pretty much. And I'm, I'm just like, man, a lot. Yeah, 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 Jesus. Well, don't become no slut. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what I feel like. <laughs> I can't post this video. They they gonna say Baron, you you insisted a bit. They gonna they gonna be mad cause I'm smiling, man. Cause I see everything. Spirit saying enjoy your life. Enjoy if you got it, you and man, we at war. We finna go to war with all these different damn countries. Man, if you don't get some enjoyment out yourself, you follow me? Right, I'm following. God damn it, live it up, man. We finna be in war. If we ain't gonna be able to buy them fancy ass shoes, we gonna have to wear car tires hooked with a rope around our toes. Gotta get the living. All right. All right. I'm, I feel better about the reading. How did you like this reading again? It was definitely funny. I liked it. <laughs> All right. I didn't. I didn't offend anything. Now. No, you didn't offend me. All right. There we go. But yeah, man, enjoy yourself. Go for it. Wrap them all up. Shit. Just, just, just go for it. They say it'll work for you, man. Enjoy your life. You know how it is to be safe out here in these streets. And man, enjoy yourself until the right person come along and leave that baby where the fuck it's at. You don't need it right now. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to make the girl something serious, but I'm, I'm already seeing she's just something I should have fun with and move on. Yeah, is she down with it? Everybody down with it, man? Enjoy your goddamn life. Don't let nobody make you feel shitty about it. Either. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Well, you know what I like to say, man? If you need to reach me, you know how. Yes, sir. I got you. All right. You be good. All right, everybody. I, that got the, I, I, I saw what Spirit told me in the beginning, so I was trying to respect him, but good thing he made me feel comfortable enough that he started talking about his situation, his lifestyle, so it was able to flow a little better with Spirit. But as you can see, they after my man. All of them. Even the Vietnamese cat. So Spirit just saying, why fight it? Worried about the, the person that you just want to make a life with, a baby and all that shit. When that person off again, on again, long distance and all. Man, live, this man need to live his life right now and enjoy himself. So I'm going to say this turned out to be pretty good. Pause the comments below. All right, everybody. I'm the Baron telling God to trust you in the universe. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So we'll try. Well, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs or birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're gonna be doing you, we're gonna be doing your consultation. What that what that means? For the lot of amount of the time you can ask questions, as many questions as you need to ask. I ask that you do not ask any Arishi questions or any ancestor questions because we have a reading for those, okay? Uh -huh. All right. No question is a crazy question. The more energy you bring to the reader, the better. And you did ask that it be recorded to be played on YouTube at some point in time. Uh -huh. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, I'll take a liberty of shuffling your card. So your first name or whatever it is you like to... Do I have permission to cut your card? Yeah. All right, what are we talking about, darling? Okay, my first question is, um, what have I done or not done to cause a rift between my daughter and I? Ah, uh, Spirit, why is there a rift between her daughter and herself? Spirit said, open your heart to love, forgiveness. Spirit said, with the children. My card's on point, I love it. Forgiveness, flow of prosperity, and children. So, is your daughter like college age, grown up age? Uh, she, I don't know, she's 17. So why is there a money situation? She too young, y'all too young to have a money situation flowing between you guys. Why is there a money situation? Spirit say forgiveness, you, you need to forgive the child for messing up your money or for impeding your money or doing something with your money. Are you holding resentment because you couldn't get a job that you wanted? You had to stop doing a job to take care of her because she was being bad. There's some form of resentment there that you are har harboring towards her. Oh. Dealing with finances. So, okay. She asked for money a, a lot. She, she, 
that's all she does. That's the only time she'll like call call me to talk to. And I joined the army so that I could have constant money coming in to take care of her because when I had her, I was not I, I was not making any money. Okay, so so listen to what Spirit is saying. Forgiveness, she costs you money now. You joined, You just told Spirit and me that you joined the military for her. I'm assuming the military gave you a hard time or something, right? Yeah. So you're holding a little resentment towards that because you went to get money to take care of her and you got your ass handed to you by the military. Yeah. So this is a deep-seated energy in you to where you're holding resentment towards her. It's not her issue. So except the fact that you were being a damn mama doing what you had to do and that's it. Oh, okay. She hated me, right? No, she ain't. She don't hate you. You just making it. You just making her angry with the like your energy is is coming off to her. So instead of you looking at it like I went through all this shit for her, just look like it. Okay, if you're mad at me, sweetie, I love you to death. Just always say something. I love you. Say good stuff. I'm glad you're here. What would I have done without you? You my baby. She gonna uh, whatever. I don't want to hear that shit. That energy in her mind. But reiterate that shit until she heal. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Um, okay, my next question is, uh, I believe you already answered this, and I just spoke to you about it. How can I enhance my spiritual growth so that I can be connected with my higher self or my spirit? Uh, spirit, how can she enhance her her growth so she can connect with her higher self? Spirit said, drink more water, ocean energy. Spirit said, priority. Spirit said, positive change. Now, I don't know what this is, but they saying you need to eat some form of a blueberry. There's some kind of berry, some kind of tea, some kind of blue blue tea, blueberry, I don't know, something blue, but it's almost like a psychedelic. Maybe you could figure out what it was, probably a blue mushroom, I don't know. But they saying you need to, only thing you need to do, you have to like take a psychedelic to free your mind, to connect to your higher self. You're too busy here. So I would say a form of LSD, DMT, I don't know what to call this stuff. They don't hear my name? No, they don't hear your name. Okay, so I... I I tried uh, mushroom, shrimp. Okay. Not too long ago. I don't, I don't know. I feel, I felt different, but I didn't feel anything spiritually. Well, they saying you need to do that. So I don't know what shrooms do because I never tried them. I got some in there. I never tried them. They still in the pack. So with that, with that saying, I'm just telling you what Spirit say. In order for you to connect to your higher self, you're gonna have to take some kind of berry, some blue, it's whatever it is, it's blue. And you're gonna have to drink it, and they literally said drink it. So make it into a nice tea, peyote style energy tea, drink it and just relax and go on a psychedelic trip, okay? Okay. All right, what's your next okay. question? Um, is there anything specific I need to know about my physical health or my mental health or my overall well-being? Uh, Spirit, look at her health energy. Is there anything she need to know? Spirit said, focus upon your strength. Spirit said, you are seeing the situation accurately, and they saying, choose peace. Uh, if you have to end up traveling again, Spirit said, this is gonna be due to travel. If you're gonna end up traveling again, I do not want you to deal with anything fire related. I don't want you to pick up a gun if you travel. I don't want you to deal with fire. I don't want you to run into a building and save a bit. Spirit is showing me you, you trying to be a hero in some form of fashion, and you're gonna get yourself burnt up or you're gonna burn your hand. Something like that. This, your, so your health issues is you trying to be a hero. Going somewhere you shouldn't be going. If your daughter's getting into it with a boyfriend, don't go over there trying to army kick their asses. You follow me? Yeah. Okay. So your physical health is going to be threatened once you put yourself in a situation. I'm giving you all the scenarios so you won't have no tape. Don't put yourself in a situation to get hurt. But otherwise, you're a-okay. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, thank you. Um... Okay, I feel that time? Yep. Okay, I don't want to go. All right. Um, is there a particular spiritual path I'm supposed to be on? Spirit, any particular spiritual path she's supposed to be on. Spirit can't form the cloud in my mind. They say be more specific. When you say spiritual path, they say in room down to two to three. Uh, should I be a tarot person? Should I be a pendulum swinger? Should I be a preacher? You know what I'm saying? Rule yeah. it down. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm more confused these days because I listen to a couple of different spiritual people. But uh, I recently found out that um, sort of folk magic, there was a couple of people in my family that did it. So sort of folk magic, hoodoo. Um, All in the same vein. Good stuff. Yeah. So. It's 
I should be gone. Spirit, how would she fare? How would she fare with Southern folk magic? Is that her path? Spirit said, mother, wife, sister, daughter. Ooh, old school too. Spiritual laws of attraction. Spirit, if you don't tell her, I'm gonna fight you. Yes. <laughs> Mother of feminine energy, the carry this is what you need to be carried on for the females in your family. So feminine energy, female mother, wife, sister, daughter, spiritual laws of attraction, and yes, you don't get no clear answer than that. Right. Oh my god. Well just well then just let me pop my collar right quick. Pop, pop, <laughs> pop. Keep listening to the Baron, the leading Southern folk magic practitioner on this bitch. And I'm a good looking Southern folk practitioner, nickel. <laughs> Lord have mercy. It ain't gonna stop. I, 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 uh, spiritually, we need to start looking the part. We the king of the kings and queens of the queens. Don't look like no goddamn dish rag. Right? Look beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh my God. So, so now if you're gonna do this now, get on YouTube or social media. Make sure you, you, you're shaped up. Make sure your hair done and your lips and your earrings. And even if they crystal stone wrapped in some wire, make sure you look good. Now do us Southern folk magic practitioners right. I want to my bed. Thank you. <laughs> um, that, that was basically my question. Oh, 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 one more, one more. I, I got no time for that, Aaron. Go ahead, right. Okay, um, are there any generational patterns affecting um, me coming from my family, generational patterns that are affecting me that I should be aware of? Spirit, any generational curses, patterns, influences coming from her family that's affecting her? Spirit said, clear and shield your energy. Spirit said, take charge of the situation. Spirit said, offer. Well, teach. Clear and shield your energy. Take uh, charge of the situation and teach. They saying the only Southern one is, I mean, the only thing is the whole Christianity style energy. That's stifling you because you come from a line of spiritualists. So they saying, clear and shield your energy. Take charge of the situation and uh, start teaching. So start learning so you can teach. That's it, the only thing stopping you. And surprisingly, it gives you guys uh, some kind of stomach issue. If not a stomach issue, I don't know. I think this is your liver, I don't know. But it caused your liver to be messed up. Probably alcoholism or drinking wrong shit. But that's the problem, because they showed me fluttering right here where the liver would be or something right there. Oh. So, oh. Don't, so don't get to drinking. No, I used to drink heavy before I joined the military. I stopped it. Lay off that liquor. I stopped. I, I, I stopped. Yeah. You better start listening to the Baron. And learn the Southern folk I, magic. I do. And I'm like, I'm on the Patreon and all I can think is, oh my God, this is so, this is easy to him and everybody else on that. Because y'all are up there in, in, in it. And I'm just like, oh my God, all these people are professionals. I'm looking for some beginners. Okay. <laughs> no, I teach the. I, listen, even the professional stuff I do, I teach it because I break it down to the mechanics. Once you know the mechanics of a spell, it's child's play. Once you know how to crank up a car and you know the gas gonna go, the brake gonna stop, no matter how long it takes you to get that car driving smooth, you gonna figure out the recipe. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Keep looking at the baron, I got you. Right. That was all my question. All right, well, if you ain't got no more questions, you know what I like to say. If you need to reach me, you know how. I sure do, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You know it, and I always ask. Yeah. No problem. Thank you for trusting me. You have a great one, okay? You too. All right. All right, everybody, that was a pretty great read. She was quick to the point. She got what she needed, and I can appreciate this sister doing that. I ain't got nothing to say. She's going to be great at what she do. Positive comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.